This is Tracy. I'm here. I am doing the set overview for Ixalan. Ixalan? I believe it's Ixalan, and I'm very excited. I honestly didn't know that I was going to be doing these and this set overview. Um, and basically, if you've been keeping up with my channel for a while, I did this a while back. I don't even remember when the last set was that I did, and then I didn't do it for the last couple of sets, and I don't really know why. I don't have a very good explanation. I just kind of wasn't like into it. I don't really know. Um, I guess I just wasn't really into the sets and whatever. And um, this set I'm actually going to the pre-release to, which I'm very excited about. So I was like, you know what? I'm not doing that much overtime this week. And that's been like another thing too, is I had no idea if I was going to be able to do this just physically because of my schedule. Like if I worked in 12 hour day, Monday and Wednesday, which is what I've been doing, you know, that means I get home at eight. Do you really think I'm going to film a video and edit a video at eight o'clock at night? No, I'm not doing that. That's like way too much to do after working for so long. So I didn't know about that, but I'm only doing overtime this Friday. So that means I get to do this entire set overview. I'm so excited. I'm going to be doing Two Headed Giant with Paul. Very, very exciting. So let's talk about white cards. Um, if you're new to my channel, if this is the first time you're joining me for a set overview, hi, welcome. How's it going? Um, basically how I talk about these cards is I don't talk about every single card, I only talk about a couple of very notable ones, and I talk about them with a limited mindset. Like, I don't talk about this as if you were to use it in a different format or something like that, which I may actually do a video talking about the influence of this on modern. I'm thinking of doing that. Let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in, because I think there's a really, there's a couple of really sweet modern cards in here, and potentially EDH cards, so we'll see. Let's get into it. The first card I want to talk about is Kinjali's Sunwing. This is just like a death and taxes players like yes kind of card. And I, I told Paul, I, I said to him, I was like, you know, if we do two-headed giant, I'm probably gonna be playing the more control aspect and you're gonna be playing the more stompy aspect. So I think you have like a kind of cool thing with like blue white. I mean I just love blue white in general. But you have some kind of like death and taxes stuff going on. You have this card. And do I talk about the other card that's... No, I don't talk about the other card that's like another dex death and taxes card where it's like creatures um, don't have ETB effects. There's like that card too. But I really wanted to talk about this because it's a three mana, two, three flyer, which is already just great. I always judge flyers because I love flyers. I think they're awesome. So you have that evasion automatically. And creatures or opponents enter the battlefield tapped. Like it's very simple. But honestly, really, really fantastic. A lot of like Death and Taxes players are like, guys, this card is so sweet because it totally is. And I think it's really solid and solid for the limited environment as well. Um, overall, I think this card is honestly just going to be a huge house. I think it's really sweet. And on top of that, it's just got a pretty nice body. The card's great. Awesome. The next card I want to talk about is Settle the Wreckage. It's a four mana, um, sorry, four mana instant. Exile all attacking creatures target player control. So just keep in mind you can do this for yourself. I don't know why you would do this, but it does say target player. We'll say you're desperately needed lands and you need to do it for like two creatures and you don't care about those creatures, whatever. Um, that player may search his or her library for that many basic lands, put them on the battlefield tapped. Okay, like I thrive off of cards like this. You do not understand. Like what? I'm just, I'm like in shock because I just think this card is super sweet. So it's a four mana instant exile thing. Like, can I tell you how many times I'm playing like Hearthstone or I'm playing Magic and I'm like, damn, I really need a, for a board wipe. And you're not going to find a lot of them when you're just playing with like one set or something like that. So to have a card like this where, yeah, it's only attacking creatures, but like you can just totally blow your opponent out. And it's also exile. It doesn't say like destroy. I would be totally happy if this card said destroy, but it says exile, which is great. It gets right indestructible. And um, it's just a form out of board wipe. And it doesn't hurt your board. Like, what is not to like about this card? Honestly, straight up, just value, value. Cards are great. Okay, sweet. Um, then we have Imperial Aerosaur. Okay. Again, I thrive off of cards like this. Four mana, three, three flyers. Oh, yes. You could have stopped there. That's already sweet. It enters the battlefield, another trigger creature gets plus one plus one and flying. Super basic, but I love this card. I think it's a very nice body. I think when I was kind of going through, I felt like white was lacking. Um, there's a lot of like one drops in white that I noticed. And I, I'm not impressed by one drops in white usually. And 
there's a lot of just kind of like meh bodies, but I was like, I'm a huge fan of this card. I think it's really sweet. Um, nice body, it's got flying, it gives something else a buff, and it gives that other thing flying. Like, come on, this card is just great. Like, after it does its thing, after it ETBs or whatever, you're just left with this sweet card. Come on, it's great. And it's also a dinosaur. I'm pretty indifferent to the whole dinosaur tribe, just FYI. I'm just not excited about it. Oh, my camera is dying! Oh, this is gonna be fun. Cool. Okay. We'll see how much further we can get. Well, this will be the last card to talk about. Ixalan's Binding. Okay, this is... so many cards are similar to this. We've seen cards like this all the time, but it doesn't stop them from being really good. So it's a format of enchantment at ETBs. You exile target non-land permanent and opponent controls. What's really interesting though about this card is your opponent can't cast spells with the same name as that exiled card. So it's really, really good if you like are playing against your opponent like second round or so, and you know Damn, they have like four of those cards. That card's really good and totally blows me out. Exile it! And so, one, you get a card exiled, and two, they can't cast that card anymore. Card is very good, very solid um, removal card. I really like it. I mentioned earlier that one metal one ones need to be really good to impress me. Encampment Keeper. I think this card is really sweet. Um, it is a lot of mana for what it is. However, later on in the game, when you have not a lot of stuff going on, and you top deck this card. You just slam this guy down. He chills, hopefully. He stays around for the turn cycle. Or your opponent wastes a removal spell on this card. You enter combat. And you sack this dude for 8 mana. Which again, it's kind of a lot. But, you know, there's not that many high drops in white. So if you're playing white with another color, you know, there's not that much high drops and stuff in, in the color. So you sack it, and then your whole team just gets plus two, plus two. Yeah, I am I really like this card. I think it's very strong. Um, I think it's a very good, like, late game card. Um, yeah, I think it's sweet. I think it's a one of. It's just a cool little flavor card. It's also a cute little hound. How adorable. Okay. Um, so I mentioned earlier about feeling kind of meh about some of the white um, bodies you know, some of the creatures was kind of meh about, um, but I really like Paladin of the Bloodstained a lot because I really like tokens. I think they're sweet, and I'm kind of a huge fan of this whole vampire thing. I really like it. I like this in Merfolk. Those are kind of like my cool little tribes that I think are really sweet. Dinosaurs, um, I think they're good. I just, I don't, I just don't care about, like, dinosaurs as, like, an archetype. I just don't care. Um, so it's a 4 mana 3-2 at ETVs, and you get a 1-1 one, one vampire with lifelink. Very simple, very basic, but you get 2 for 1, you know, you're, you're 4 mana for 4 power. Very basic, and one of that mana, you know, gets to be a lifelinker, which is really strong, so. Overall, I think this card is very sweet. I like it. Okay, then we have Legion's Judgment. Um, there's not, like, too much to say about this card. It's a removal card. It's also pretty solid. It only hits creatures with power 4 or greater, but it's removal, and a lot of times you'll find when you're drafting stuff or playing limited that the removal isn't that great. Um, a lot of times it's overpriced, and it doesn't really do a whole lot, and it's very limiting in terms of it only hits certain things, but removal's removal, and you need it, and this card's pretty okay at what it does. Okay, then we have um, Queen's Commission. I really like token gen spells. I think they're very solid and I really like them. I think this is a really solid uncommon. Um, it's a three mana, you do two dudes with lifelink. Very basic, but I think for the amount of mana you're paying to get the amount of, you know, to get two dudes, but they have lifelink, I think is really solid. Um, overall, I am a fan of this sorcery. I think it's very solid. Okay. Then we have um, Pious Interdic Interdiction. I don't know why I struggled with that. Um, enchant Creature. It enters the battlefield, you gain two life. I think that's sweet. And then a counter tracker block. It's a pacifism, but better. It's four mana. Again, it's not the best removal in the world, um, but yeah, it's just, you gotta run cards like this. They're very, very essential. Okay. Um, slash of ta ta Talon. Can't say this word right now. I'm stuttering over my words. It's been a day. I'm a little tired. Um, okay. Instant speed, you deal two damage to target attack and are blocking creature. So you either straight up just remove something. 
or you you know you go to block with your creature and then you do damage to it and yes your creature dies but um you've still killed their creature in the end very solid instant speed card i think this is really really strong at a common and it's only one mana and it's basically can be a one mana kill spell i'm oof, i am good with that okay um then we have waking sun's avatar now again when i was saying earlier about like the lack of um removal yeah I, i've definitely always noticed that as something that's like i've personally struggled with limited so much because of that reason because i'm like I, I have like i want like a board wipe or something like that this is a board wipe stapled onto a creature it doesn't hit everything um so depending on your matchup you know this card may not be very good but it's in eight mana seven seven adtbs you destroy all non-dinosaur creatures this card is really solid. This is definitely a bomb. Definitely something that you're going to want to look out for. Um, yeah, card is just really good. Okay, this is, I think, one of the cards that made me very excited for this set. Um, I'm kind of, like I said, I, I like it, but I'm not, like, in love. Like I said, I like vampires and I like merfolk. Indifferent to dinosaurs. Really don't care about them. Um, Legion's Landing, which transforms into Adanto, the first fort. Okay, so I'm a huge, huge fan of this card. It's one of my favorites, I think, in the set, period. It's a one mana enchantment. It's legendary. Pay attention to that. Um, ADTB, so you create a 1-1 one, one do with lifelink. Perfect, awesome, I love that. We're already giving value. We're getting one mana for one power. It's also got lifelink. That's awesome. When you attack with three or more creatures, you get to transform this thing. And it transforms into this legendary land where you add white to your pool and then for three you create a do with lifelink again i love tokens i think they're very strong it's one of like my favorite archetypes like little things that i just really love not archetypes but like one of my favorite like categories of decks to make i just think they're really fun um and i love the fact that this is a land that produces dudes i'm always very into that so this is like one of my favorite cards hands down i think it's very very strong two more cards guys we're almost done okay Bishop of Rebirth. <sighs> Let's just take a sec for this card because this card is awesome. It's a four mana three four with vigilance. I mean, yeah, okay, sweet. Whenever it attacks, you may return target creature with covert mana cost three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Card is busted, guys. Oh, I absolutely love this card. I think it's very strong. Um, I think... This card is going to be good and I always forget the name of the like, EDH commander. It's like the Mardu one where you can like return um, target creature with converted mana cost two or less to the battlefield when she attacks. I feel like those would be like a good synergy to like have together. Um, but yeah, this card is very, very strong. I really, really like it. I think easily something to build a deck around. One of my favorites in the set, hands down. And the last card and another one of my favorites in these like last three cards were like some of my favorites um is maver and fane dusk apostle what a handful like why would they make that name so long i don't understand okay three mana two two whenever one or more non-token vamps etbs you got a one one dude simple straightforward i love it love 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 cards like this again love token gen think it's really sweet um yeah oh Oh, I think the vampire deck's gonna be like so solid. There's so many sweet vampires in this set. So yeah, guys, that is it for talking about Ixalan cards. Um, like I said, you can check out Blue, which will be posted tomorrow, and I will get all these videos up. Again, we shouldn't really have any issues with like uploading and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Um, yeah, that's it.